Hey guys, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy! I'm Zelda Master, and in this episode, we'll start off by opening up a letter that we constantly get from the princess, and that is, she's in a far away place, and she's gonna give us five lives, and Toad's gonna get all happy, I'm like, ah, oh, you know, the princess cares about us, even though she's kidnapped. Who cares? I bet she's having fun vacationing with Bowser, but it's time for her to come home because I'm gonna ruin her party by talking to Rosalina and heading to the center of the universe. So it's time. Do you want to go to the location of your special one at the center of the universe? Go. Yeah, we're gonna do this. So here we go. All right, then off we go. Yeah, guys, this is going to be the finale. As you can tell, I don't have all of the stars within the game, but I just want to play as, you know, to as many stars as I can get, and that's it. Like I said before, this wasn't going to be a 100% Let's Play, so we're going to end it off here and uh, finally get the final grand star within the game, and that is going to be at the center of the universe, which I don't know exactly what she means by that. All I know is the observatory is flying like a freaking rocket ship or a comet or something and heading straight to that JPEG picture. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really look like some sort of vortex, but there we go. Oh my god, blasting through a bunch of battleships in the air. This is insane, guys. Holy crap, and you get this really cool cutscene. Uh, you'd think it'd be pre-rendered. It looks like it's pre-rendered because it has different like lighting effects, but I gotta remember this is for the Wii, so it's not gonna look as amazing as like a Wii U game. I am playing this on my Wii U though, but you get what I mean. Uh, anyways, Mario is gonna run along. Looks like he's kind of floating. The, ru the running animation didn't look that impressive, but the princess's castle is here, claimed by Bowser, as you can tell by the flag. And here we go, I haven't played this in like, Two to three years, the final, you know, Bowser Galaxy's Reactor. Bowser's Galaxy Reactor. The fate of the universe. Yeah, I haven't played this in a while. I don't know exactly what's in store for us. But I think we can do this as long as we put our minds to it. And if that's the sun, someone has been poking holes in it. Because what the frill? I was going to say, I was going to say something bad, but decided to say frick. And then I said flip. And then that happens. So yeah, that's what happens when you try to censor yourself. Yeah. <laughs> but this is kind of cool. We have these weird gravity, like, spot slash searchlights move in. And with them, we can just walk on walls. And this was an upside down L. <gasps> you think Waluigi is here or something? I don't know why Waluigi always had an upside down L. I guess it was to copy, like, Wario and his, like, upside down M for, you know, being a W, but Waluigi, it's W and A, so I never understood that. Um, I guess because it has Luigi mixed in with Wall, but still, you guys get what I mean. I feel like I've played this before. I'm getting this really weird sense of deja vu, like I've recorded this episode before, but I haven't, and like, I'm going through this exact same area. I don't know why. But it just feels like I've done this before. It's so weird how this happens. Normally, it never happens in recording the recordings. Hopefully, I don't slur my words too much. But uh, it definitely happens a lot during uh, just certain moments. Like, let's say I'm talking to a couple of friends of mine, and then they say something and start arguing over something really dumb. I'm like, this happened before. You guys were arguing over the same thing. Maybe they have been, and <laughs> they don't notice it or something. But I don't know. It just feels like there's a lot of instances where you get like this weird sense of deja vu and you just can't like I don't know just have it I don't like I don't know how to explain it you just get it and it's just everything feels weird after that for me I'm getting that by playing this like no for real I am is this based off of a level we played or what cuz I swear it feels like this happened before huh well, I'm gonna stop talking about that and let's talk about the level design itself. It's absolutely amazing. I love what they did with this with all of these different elements jumping from small planet to other small planet, taking on all of these crazy obstacles. It's definitely not that difficult, but it's still, regardless, really fun and just like a nice refresher for the final galaxy within the game. I honestly really like it. As you can tell, for some reason, I fell off because you have a certain amount of time, I guess, to solve this part. I wonder where the checkpoint puts us. I guess after each planet slash, like, area we land in, it puts us in a new area or something. But yeah, as you can tell, these don't move as you want them to, like, basically as you please. No, they actually 
move in the sense of where you um, are go what am I saying no they don't move in the sense of where you are going they move by themselves and you have to like follow them in the timing it puts and stuff but here's like the final section I think before like the grand grand finale of the level super excited for what lies ahead uh, it's kind of sad that this let's play is ending so soon it's been like a month and a half since we started this or something. No, almost two months I believe yeah we're almost two months since this project started and it's been so fun I actually like didn't expect to have so much fun and like the feedback I got from you guys you guys definitely enjoyed it I'm really excited for the upcoming game uh, I plan on doing in this series which is going to be Galaxy Tune makes me excited for what lies ahead for the Wii U because you know we still don't have this main kind of Wii U Mario game that is similar to this style and uh, you know type of gameplay would I want a Mario Galaxy 3 yes would I not want a Mario Galaxy 3 yes I, I don't really care I just want a new game that's similar to this type of you know Mario game where you just collect stars and stuff like Mario 64 Sunshine you know the Galaxy series that stuff but anyways looking for Princess Peach too bad cuz she's with me Mario I bet she's gonna say or something I I bet she did and I just spoke over her I don't really care but hey Peach Mario's mad Mario's like what the frick are you doing with my girl Bowser oh my god this music's intense all right so I believe Bowser's gonna start shooting fireballs as we approach or no he's gonna shoot bullet bills or not bullet bills but weird meteor type things and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and be a man and pick up some extra HP because I can I could pick up this life as well you know I am because I'm OCD this is like leading up I think it's really easy to head up here without a problem as you can tell I just did but uh, I guess because this battle is gonna be really difficult we're gonna need as much as we can get so finally you got just in time to see the cre the creation of my galaxy in the center of the universe watch and weep oh no the princess is scared she's she's playing out really well in reality they were having a vacation here right by the Sun or the whatever so the great galactic empire with Peach by my side why do you want to force her to be with you I never understood Bowser's plot like he wants Peach to be his princess when Peach doesn't want that unless she really does like why was it in reality that's what Peach wanted you know that might be the case all right, so this is a different type of uh, ability. Bowser's doing something we're not used to. He rolls up into a rock ball and starts moving around, and we have to just like beat him up like that. You gotta wait for like the absolute perfect timing to whack him on the head, because you can't tw try to twirl when he's not in that form, I believe at least. But yeah, there we go. We got hit this time. Let's go ahead and use a star bit here to pick up this coin, because I don't want to lose all of the extra HP I have. Yeah, there we go. We hit him to do that sound effect because I feel like I play better. I don't know why, but like seriously, doing weird sound effects while playing a game just helps you concentrate more. But there we go. The first section has been completed. On to the next one. I believe we're gonna have to use these ones to our advantage. Uh, these weird thingies. I don't really know what they are, but let's see. Bowser is going to start shooting fireballs. Do I hit him now? No, I don't. Okay, let's quickly pick up this before. We lose our extra HP. Ah, let's run! All right, let's grab this. All right, I know what to do now. We're gonna we're gonna have to hit him when he starts rolling into us like this. Oh, gotta be careful. All right, let's try again. Ugh, there we go. We got him. Let's go ahead and run to the other side. And so long, gay Bowser. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just so used to saying that when I was a kid. I'm like, why does Mario say that to Bowser? I don't get it. In reality, he was saying so long. Some. I don't even think he said it's, did he even say so long? Maybe he didn't. Oh, you can hit him when he's casting fireballs? Yuck. All right, let's go ahead and hit him again. I believe that does it for this portion. And now the final one, the one we are used to. Uh, we're in the center of this weird thing. But yeah, this section is, you know, what we've done before. Through the music, and it's so intense. You guys better be hyped. <laughs> I sure am. All right, so let's start rolling. I think we should avoid it. Regardless, Bowser was never a hard battle to begin with. No offense to Mario and the friends, you know? All right. Did we get him? There we go. He has his butt on fire. We're going to hit him in the tail. Then we hit him in the shell. And then we hit him in the head. And then, well, that's it. 
So there we go. He's mad. He's just stomping around. Oh, man. All right. Ah, you better keep running, 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 because he might hit me. Not really. It's too easy, Bowser. Give me a challenge. You're not even trying. I, well, he might be, but okay. Oh, as I say that, I got hit. Just hoping I can. Oh, come on. Okay, let's see if we can get him to jump over here. Come on, go for it. How do you fall for this every time, dude? You must be really dumb. All right. Hiya! And then go ahead and run on the opposite side. Bam! And then once again, he's going to go a little bit faster, but we can hit him like that. And there we go. Wait, are we done? I think there's one more. Or not. If this was it, then it's not going to be as epic. Because I was hoping I'd, you know, act all excited for the final blow. But I wasn't ready for it to end so soon. But there you go. Bowser is going to fall. Now, I think... I believe this is a really cool cutscene we're going to see right here. Or not. I thought he was going to jump out as Dry Bowser and then fall back in. But I think I'm thinking of New Super Mario Bros. Wii or something like that. Where it had that whole Dry Bowser cutscene. But man! That was a short galaxy. Holy crap. What a way to end off this Let's Play. It was honestly really fun. But there you go. Our final Grand Star. Let's pick it up. And yeah. With that, we have completed Super Mario Galaxy. Not 100%. But, like, freaking 70% or something. <laughs> yeah, it's what I do. But there you go. So you got a grand star. Yay! And I believe a really cool cutscene happens, at least here. Yeah, Mario's gonna fly with it. And he should pick up the princess. Yeah, he does. Okay. This is pretty cool. I feel like the, the quality downgrades in this in these cutscenes like they're pre-rendered but not high enough resolution to look decent on like a HD monitor or TV or whatever you're playing it on um, but yeah it's, this game is like over seven years old I believe so yeah I shouldn't really question it <laughs> but there you go the end of Super Mario Galaxy it's been fun but oh what's this the music stopped Something intense might happen. I'm pretty sure there's no more to it, I, but then again, I might be wrong. Uh, oh, he's right there. We're just gonna watch him slowly suffer and fall on this planet. Dang, this is epic. Still alive? No, shoot him with the shell. With his own shell. Mario can actually do that. That'd be pretty sick. <laughs> Literally, Bowser literally has a shell like all the Koopalings because he's the king of the Koopas. I don't like a demon Koopa. So, no, my galaxy, my empire. This can't be happening. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that's a little too big. But there you go. It exploded and became that weird vortex. <gasps> what is this? No, not the super cool bridge Rosalina built. I wanted to walk on that. But I guess all this is going to fall down. Oh, wait, you know what? I think this is super similar to something. Yeah, okay, there's, there's a reason why I remember this. Um, I think the reason why I have this sense of deja vu is because I've, I've seen this cutscene recently for some reason. So I'm pretty sure I know what happens next. Now, obviously, I played the game and I know what happens, but I feel like I've seen this recently, and that's why I got this weird sense of deja vu. Maybe I was watching a Let's Play where someone ended off the game or something, and I thought it was me in some sort of way. But there we go. So our Luma is going to transform into either a galaxy or a star, I think, or something. It's kind of sad. I'm going to let this part play. If there is really epic music, because I don't want to talk over it, because I have been talking over all of the epic music that has been playing. But if there's even more epic music, maybe I should shut up. So let's see. Do you hear the baby stars? These newborns will grow up to become galaxies someday. When stars die, 
they turn into stardust and scatter around the cosmos. Eventually, that stardust reforms to create a new star, and so the cycle of life continues. But the cycle never repeats itself in quite the same way. So, you'll see. Super Mario Galaxy 2 confirmed! Well, it was already... We know it's now confirmed, but yeah, I guess that kind of hinted that there would be a sequel. It's kind of cool how Nintendo added that in, but... Yeah, guys, uh, here we are at the end. Pretty sure Bowser falls down with us here. Look at that butterfly. Usually those butterflies just uh, magically spawn the second Mario falls asleep. They love just chilling on Mario's hat when he's asleep for some reason. But, um... Yeah, ah oh, man, this would be so cool to like really explore like the whole Mushroom Kingdom, not just the outside, but like I really like the way this place looks when we're on land. Still looks like we're in outer space in a sense, like that there isn't much sky above us and just space for some reason. Um, I guess because I'm so used to each galaxy looking like that. This has a weird similarity of like Ocarina of Time's credits, but Mario looks to his left, sees the princess, and then Mario looks to his right, sees Bowser, so... Hi! <laughs> I think he just gives up from there. He's like, whatever, I'm done. What are they gonna do? I don't even think they care. They really don't. But that's so weird how Bowser isn't the like mega super bad ass enemy. He's just an enemy. He's like a joke pretty much. And I just skipped over the dialogue there, but we did it. Welcome. Welcome new galaxy. We did something at least.